everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a, another makeup tutorial for you all on this makeup look. Um, it is sort of a gorgeous sort of corally orange look which is perfect for the springtime weather that we are now getting here in the UK. So I wanted to do a really fun sort of orangey inspired look and I have already filmed this tutorial but I lost half of the footage somehow so I'm refilming on my new camera um, so it should hopefully be a lot clearer picture than the original so I suppose that's a plus but here is a, it's a little bit different than what I had already filmed but it's just a really gorgeous sort of corally springtime look which is just a beautiful look for day to day wear I love a bright lip and this coral is amazing. So I hope you all enjoy this makeup look and if you want to see how I created it and how you can create it too, then keep on watching. So I'm just going to go and jump straight into the tutorial today. So I'm just pinning back my hair away from my face so I don't get any of it stuck in the primers or anything going on. So I'm going to spray my face with a setting spray to start with. This just helps prep my skin ready for my makeup application and it makes my foundation and my base makeup last a lot longer. I'm now going in with the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and this is the Radiance formulation. So it's got a nice sort of subtle glow which it gives your skin and it is gorgeous underneath foundation. Because I have oily skin as always, I'm going in with an oil control primer. Today I'm using this one from Essence and I'm just pressing it into the T-zone of my face and any areas where I have larger pores or visible texture. Priming my eyes as I usually do in every video with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original formula. This is the best eyeshadow primer that I have used and I have very oily lids that goes well with the rest of my oily skin and I get lots of creases in my eyeshadow throughout the day. When using this product I don't get any creases on my eyeshadow. I'm now going to prep my lips so they are ready for the lipstick because I am using a more drier formula lipstick today and I'm using my Carmex lip balm. To start with I'm going to conceal my eyelid with my Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm using this to just counteract any discoloration that I may have going on on my eyelid to cover up any veining and just create a gorgeous base for our eyeshadows to sit on. vanilla shade from my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just pressing that on to my lid. This is just going to help get rid of that stickiness that the base might give and it helps blend the eyeshadows on because if you're applying eyeshadow straight onto a sticky base it's going to be very patchy and it's not going to be easy to blend. So I'm now going in with the MAC Cream Colour Base in the shade Hush which is a gorgeous sort of corally, pinky, peachy, shimmery tone shade. And I'm just applying this all over my eyelid. I love these cream colour bases. I have a couple and I use them a lot during the summertime. They just create this gorgeous eyeshadow look. You can use them as blush, you can use them as highlighter, you can use them as anything. And all I'm doing with the shade is just blending out the edges mainly just over my lid so that it is ready for our eyeshadows. First of all, going in with my transition shade, and today I'm using Amiga from MAC, as I pretty much always do for that crease transition 
transitional color. So as you can see, I'm just sort of pressing it into the crease area and then blending. So because we just applied that cream color base, the base is gonna be a little bit tacky. So that's why I am pressing the color on first to place it where I want the color to be. So as you can see, I'm just blending everything out with large circular swiping motions. For the main star of the show today, I am using my MAC pigment in the shade Melon and I'm just taking this on a large eyeshadow brush and pressing this all over the Hush color base that we used previously. So this is a gorgeous sort of corally, melony, rose gold shade which is perfect for this coral and orange makeup look that I wanted to create for this springtime weather that we are now having in the UK. I love this pigment, it is such a gorgeous colour and like I said it is perfect for these warmer weather months that we are now coming into. I'm just taking a little bit more of that Amiga shade and just blending that transitional shade because with pigments they can creep up into the crease so I was just making sure that everything was blended. I'm now going in with a deeper orange pigment called Copper Sparkle again from MAC and I'm using a much denser compact eyeshadow brush to press this colour into the outer corner of my eye. This is going to add definition and dimension to our eye because it is a darker shade and it's also going to create a gorgeous orangey coral ombre effect on the eyelid. And I'm just going in with a clean blending brush and blending those shades together. I'm now going to go in as always with a gel black liner to create a winged look to go with our eyeshadow. I'm using my Maybelline Eye Studio Drama Gel Liner in the black shade. As always, I will link my perfect winged liner tutorial in the description box below, as well as any other videos that correlate to this video. So if you want to see how I create my perfect winged liner, then please check out that video below. today so all I'm doing at the moment is going in with a mascara and just coating the tops of my lashes so that if any of the pigments have fallen onto the lashes we're just getting rid of any of that shadows that are on our backs of our lashes because what I'm gonna do before applying my mascara today is apply my falsies and I actually really like this method I felt like it got the lashes a lot closer to my natural lash line and it was so much easier to apply them and position them so as you can see I'm just applying them with my duo lash adhesive and these are the red cherry in the style 47 I think um, but as always, it'll be listed down below and also on my accompanying blog post. But I just managed to get them so close to my natural lashes and I really liked how they turned out.
And then once my lash glue has dried, I'm going back in with that same mascara, which I'm using my MAC Extender Play Pick a Black Lash. And I am just coating my lashes as I would normally apply mascara. As I keep saying, I loved this technique. I just found that it made the false lashes a lot closer to my natural lashes and then applying the mascara after just blended everything together. So I've just gone in with a Q-tip with a little bit of eye cream on and I'm just neatening up along that wing if any pigmentation has fallen down below it. I'm now going in with that MAC pigment in the Copper Sparkle shade again and I'm just running that underneath my lower lash line. When I applied concealer to my eyelids earlier, I also ran a bit underneath my eyes so it was prepped ready for this eyeshadow step. So as you can see, I'm just running it ever so lightly. I didn't use very much product to do this because I didn't want a lot of fallout down my face. For my waterline today, I'm going in with my nude pencil from Rimmel. It's just a gorgeous way to open your eyes without it being a very stark white shade. It just looks like your skin tone and it makes your eyes look less red and sore and swollen. So again, I am just completing off our eyes with a coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. to my skin. Today I used my Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream mixed with my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. I sort of mix equal parts of that product together and I'm just stippling it over my face. It created a really gorgeous finish to the skin. I find that the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus can be a little bit too full of coverage sometimes. It's a very, very glam look and great for if you want in that complete full matte coverage. But mixing it with the Camera Ready BB Cream from Smashbox just fit the product out a little bit. So it still gave you really good coverage, but it wasn't nowhere near as thick. It was more like the consistency of a tinted moisturizer, but it just had a flawless effect to the skin. everything today I'm going in with my matte mineralized skin finish natural in the shade light plus and I'm just taking a large powder brush and just dabbing it all over my skin to set the foundation to highlight my skin today or to conceal my skin even I'm going back in with a pro long wear concealer from MAC and I'm just applying it using my ring finger and I'm applying the product underneath my eyes. This is going to help conceal any under eye bags that you have because this is such a full coverage concealer but it is so lightweight at the same time. So as you can see I also applied it down the centre of my face as well because I'm pretty sure I just went in with this product alone to conceal and highlight at the same time. And as you can see I'm just blending it all out with a tapered kabuki brush. And then going 
back in with my contour kit I'm taking the vanilla and the banana shade mixed together and I'm just setting all of that concealer slash highlight into my skin to make it set so I don't crease underneath my eyes. I have now set the under eye area I just went back in with a blending brush and just smoked out that lower lash line pigment that we applied just to make it less harsh and more soft and sultry I'm of course going in with my favorite highlight for the inner corner of all time and it is the shade nylon from Mac just taking it on a small brush and just applying it on that inner corner running it right into that shadowy area that you get right in that inner corner of your tear duct and onto the lid and also underneath the lash line as well. I'm also going to run this shade as my brow highlight as well. I'm really loving this brush at the moment which I forgot to mention in this month's favourites video but I just love this brush because it applies a product and it blends everything out at the same time which is just perfect. So I'm now going to go in and bronze and contour my skin. I'm using the Havana shade from the contour kit today and I'm just going to run that all over the areas of my skin which I want to warm up, the areas that are going to be catching the sun naturally. So it's underneath your cheekbones, on top of your cheekbones, on your temples, around your hairline, down one side of your nose normally and also on the neck. I pretty much always say this but I have an extremely pale neck compared to the rest of my body and face so I always make sure that I apply bronzer down my neck. keep my skin lovely and warm today so I went in with the Java shade from the contour kit on my cheeks it just created a really gorgeous bronzy glow to our cheekbones today as it wasn't as cool toned as the shade I normally use so as you can see I'm just really hollowing out that cheekbone area and I'm also applying it up around the temples and hairline and I then went in with a third shade which was Fawn which is my usual contour shade I found that the Java was a little bit too warm for my nose it just didn't look right on my skin tone so that's why I went in with three different shades for this look been loving my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle and I just used a large powder brush today just to give an all over glow to the look so it wasn't quite as saturated in one area it sort of softened it and brushed it over and gave this gorgeous glow to the skin which my smaller fan brush doesn't do quite as much I find this fan brush is awesome because I can sort of just blend it like I am right now and it disperses the product beautifully without applying too much. For my brush today I'm keeping everything nice and warm and I'm going in with my Dim Infusion Ambient Lighting Blush from Hourglass <laughs> and I'm just applying that on the apples of my cheeks and blending it back into my contour and bronzer. I am now going to go in with my Sovereign Glory Archery Brow Pencil. As always, you have seen me do my brows quite a few times now, but if you would like an in-depth tutorial on how I have changed up my brow routine, then please let me know in the comments below. But I'm just going in with this pencil and filling it all in, and then I'm going to go in with my normal MAC Pro Long Wear Brow Set in the shade Empathetically Blonde just to set them in position.
decided to keep everything on that orangey coral toned shade so I went in with retro coral from Anastasia Beverly Hills and as you can see I was pretty happy with my choice of colours today so I'm just applying this all over my lips being quite precise because I'm not going in with a lip liner for this look I think this is a beautiful shade it is such a gorgeous shade for these summer months now approaching us here in the UK and many parts of the world as well it is such a beautiful bright color but it's not neon which is just so amazing to find a color which is so bright without it being neon and really unwearable this was such a wearable look and I absolutely loved it I will be definitely rocking this a lot more in the summertime Because the lipstick knocked off some of my Cupid's bow highlight I just touched it up so here is the completed springtime coral and orange look I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I had so much fun creating this beautiful look for you all so I hope you all enjoyed thank you ever so much for watching please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will talk to you all very soon